Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And today we got some tools here. Why do we have tools? Why do we have parts? Well, because we're gonna put together here a Boscoyo arch. Uh, this in particular is the medium arch and give you full instructions as to everything I found uh, in order to put this together. I kind of looked online at a couple different places and ended up finding a Facebook post that was really helpful that worked through these exact instructions. Um, pretty much to a T. I tweaked a couple things, um, but overall pretty much the same. I put a few people's stuff together. So, uh, want to make great arches in your yard like these? Of course you do. Uh, arches look great. They're an awesome way to uh, kind of keep people off your yard to block things off and also look great when you film with pixels at the same time. And uh, the Boscoyo arches are a product made out of this, this really thin five millimeter coral, which means it's really cheap. Um, and these arches all together are not too bad to build. Now, Boscoil has instructions on their site that involves bending PVC pipe. But as I thought about it, I thought, you know what, and this is what took me down the rabbit hole at first, is, you know, when they came up with the instructions, probably they first came out with this, uh, PEX piping, this stuff that comes already in a curve, um, that stuff wasn't super available, but today it is. And it curves and it bends really easily, but still has the rigidity to hold the core. Okay, so I looked at a bunch of different posts and kind of tweaked them and made it my own to come up with this. First things first, one half inch PVC pipe, 47 inches. Why 47 inches? Because we're gonna put T's on it and it's these two arches, this one is the medium arch, it is 48 inches, four feet wide uh, when complete. So this plus the two T's gets you really darn close. Okay. So two PVC T's, one piece of approximately 73 inch PEX. Now PEX, when you're uh, comparing it, you know, your first one, basically what I did was I tried to take the tape measure along it and get as close to an accurate measurement as I could, cut it, built one just to test it, uh, make sure it fit the Boscoyo. I didn't zip tie it. Then I undid it um, once I knew that it fit and took the pipe and did the, the measuring method of just taking this PEX alongside the other PEX and, uh, and just you know holding the ends together right real good, matching them up as best I can, mark it with a Sharpie, then cut it. Uh, in terms of cutting PVC and PEX for this project, I used a jigsaw. That was my preference with a metal blade on it. Uh, any hacksaw, jigsaw, any saw is going to cut PEX and PVC. Uh, I've, I think fine tooth blades look better or work better um, and look better uh, and they cut through with ease. So that's my recommendation. Use whatever you want. Don't sit there with an X-Acto knife trying to cut this stuff. That's a bad idea. Okay, assembly. Uh, this is the cool part. So what we're gonna do, guys, is, uh, oh, we also need screws. Screws, by the way, I went with a galvanized uh, one and a half inch screw. The instructions call for a one and a quarter, and I did not find any available at Lowe's uh, locally here to me, at least at the time of making this. As a result, one and a half inch screws have little pokey bits that hang out the back. It's not that bad. Okay, so this is where Everybody's favorite Harbor Freight heat gun. Boy, I bought this thing like 10 years ago. It feels like a piece of junk, but I've had it for 10 years and used it on a bunch of projects. You be the judge. The heat gun comes in here, uh, and this is a, a big part of the first step because, let me find a place with power. Because, because, because. PEX does not quite fit into PVC. And this PEX, by the way, um, is, I'm so sorry for not mentioning this previously, I believe this is three-quarter PEX, even though it's half-inch PVC. Yeah, it is three-quarter PEX, half-inch PVC. Why? Because pipes are measured by the inside and PEX is thinner than PVC, because they're measuring water, right? Um, so, um, they don't quite fit together, but they're really stinking close. So watch this. If we just go ahead and we're going to heat this up here just a little bit, okay? <laughs> Pop this guy here. Try not to catch our shop on fire. That would be good. Okay, heat this up, I mean, literally like five seconds. And then 
I can thread this guy on there. Hopefully. Do it again. So as you can probably see, once you start to get the pecs into the PVC, you can twist and go back and forth in order to get that pex all the way on there. Okay, just for a separate view. Push all the way down. You, you really want to see when you look down the fitting, you want to see the pecs going down as far as you can because we're ultimately, with these self-tapping screws uh, from the hardware store, we're ultimately going to secure it all, okay? So I'm going to check those guys, make sure they're really good. All right. Now, back to me. Uh, now, insert PVC. So we've got our 47 piece, 47 inch piece. And this is where we'll make sure these T's are lined up really good. The open end of the PVC T is going to go down uh, because the best way to put these in your yard is to grab an 18 inch piece of rebar. Uh, I bought some on Amazon that were pre-cut because, let's face it, I don't feel like cutting a bunch of metal. If you do, then do that because um, it'll be cheaper. And we insert all these together and we get, ta-da, something that's arch-shaped. So, now, let's <clears throat> let's attach these together. Let me put my heat gun aside here. Grab my Coro, just a hot second. But make sure not to put the heat gun on anything that, you know, It'll catch fire while it's hot, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, Boscoyo arch is a two-piecer, so we got that all at the ready. So now we're going to go ahead, guys. Four screws, okay? Now, I saw different people do all sorts of different methods here. Um, <clears throat> some people use, like, zip ties to attach the pecs uh, to the PVC. But I just go, I, I think this is so simple, just literally going ahead. Let's see, can we see it? Whoop, wrong camera. Literally going ahead, uh, because it is going to poke through a little bit, two screws on each end. I'm using an impact drill because it has the proper head on it. Uh, this is the Ryobi one. They're cheap and really nice. And then I just want to insert, make sure my, my uh, fitting's there. I just want to put a screw uh, through this piece of pipe uh, so that it goes and it connects the outer fitting, it hits the inner pipe, uh, and the inner pecs on the other side and connects them through. So with these, uh, these are a galvanized, they're actually like a, a sheet metal screw, but they're self-tapping. Um, so that when you go to town on these, insert it into the impact bit or just a regular drill. When you start really putting the pressure on, once those threads grab, it goes. It really goes through. Let's do it again. This time from the front. So I'll do the pec side. I found the pecs, if you don't insert it well, you might have to be really near the top of the T. Once these threads grab again, they, they really go. Awesome. Never coming apart. Hopefully. Other side. <laughs> we like a little humor here on this channel, right? Everybody does. Number one, PVC side. It's helpful to have a bigger table than I have as well. Number two, PEX side. Boom, done. Now we've got to zip tie the Boscoyo Coro to this PEX. Couple tips I found. I did 16 of these. This is what I found worked best. Place it in front of you, upside down. I know you can't see the whole thing, but that's okay. Grab your medium arches, lay them out. Because the difficult part here is that the PEX, as you can probably see, is not quite the same arch as the core. Okay? The arch doesn't quite let land up. 
Now it should because it's a 48 inch arch and wide and it's uh, six foot or 73 inches roughly of PEX. It should line up right, but the PEX isn't quite the right curve from the factory or from however I left it and I did leave it out in the sun a little bit, which helps. Um, it's not quite the right curve. So what I like to do is just, I found this to be the best method, is just go ahead here and line up the center so that the center lines up correctly, so that the two pieces of coral are flat, okay? Uh, it helps if it hangs off the table a little bit like I'm doing here. Okay, once you've done that, then you want to look at the two ends, and I know you can only see one of them on the camera. And you want those two ends on the, the ground side to be at the same level approximately. Because then, what we're going to do is we're going to zip tie from the center out on the pecs, uh, attaching the coro from Busqua to the pecs. And I like to um, make sure, this one's actually backwards, um, so pro tip here, put the pointy bits up while you do this because the core is on the bottom, that way the pointy bits of the screw will end up away from the guests watching your show and the little kids who are like, ooh, touch that, which are my kids, um, etc. So, once again, line up that Boscoyo uh, Coro perfectly. It's not going to line up perfectly at the ends, and that's going to drive you nuts. And then grab some zip ties and some cutters. Of course, mine are across the room, so I will cut those later. Uh, and I go and I do the center first. So I get everybody lined up all happy and get the center lining up first just right. Keeping the zip tie, the zippy part on the back. And I went with blue pecs, by the way, because I figured at night it would be darkest, less noticeable. Who knows? You could paint your PVC black as well. That is your choice. Okay. And so then we're just going to go ahead and zip tie through this the rest of the way. So the key here, what I found works really well, is get those two center zip ties in first to lock down that center. Okay, just like I'm doing here. And when you first put it on, don't go super duper tight. tight. Give yourself a little bit of room to work. The reason why is because then you can make adjustments. Okay, I see now at my two ends that I'm matching. So now I can go ahead, tighten down those zip ties and do the rest. And then once you've done all that, and I'm not gonna bore you with that on camera because who needs that? You're gonna have one of these. Boom, just like this. It's like the cooking shows, you know? Um, and, and you'll have a nice, it'll, it should line up really nice in the center. It should line up really nice at the two ends or pretty darn close. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It's just flashy lights. Plus, I bet your yard isn't 100% level. So, uh, and then you can put pixels in. Uh, what I'm doing with these personally, just on the pixels, is I actually uh, am doing double arches. And I zip tie the two together at the edges. And then with the pixels, these are, I believe, 33 pixels each. I just go 66 pixels, uh, put a new X-Connect plug on the end, and uh, then I have two arches that can fold together with pixels in them. Boom, fold away nice for storage. Maybe put a bungee ball on the other side, maybe not. Then boom, I can put that out, stake in the rebar, lay out the arch, done. So, wasn't that fun? I hope you enjoyed my method to making these Boscoyo arches. Ultimately, uh, there's a lot of ways to build these. But I think that with the modern tools and uh, materials that we have today that we can get our hands on, like PEX, uh, this process can be made a lot easier if you follow this guide. So I hope this helps. And if you're new to Christmas lighting, head over to learnchristmaslighting.com. we got a free guide we want to put into your hands. It's just four things that I, I really wish, the things I really wish I knew before I began in this hobby. Because I've seen myself and so many people waste so much money buying stuff you don't need and not getting the right stuff. So we have that guide there on the site, and we will see you guys in our next video. Thanks.